what is going on youtube it's your boy little mike mike six and today this is going to be a pretty long video but i haven't uploaded in a while so it's kind of worth it to just go ahead and give you guys a, a longer commentary than what i would normally do and it's mostly because i got a lot to talk about one is i've been getting a lot of comments and if you just watch the gameplay you can see why i don't play black ops 2 but i've been getting a lot of comments people trash talking there's always that one idiot that's always in everybody's uh, comment section talking trash to the whoever the uploader is whoever the guy who uploads whatever gameplay and this is a one-on-one -on -one with a guy that i've known for a very long time but uh i didn't know he was going to cheat me like this he was trash talking me telling me he, he hit me up he was like hey he was like you can't beat me in a in a one-on-one -on -one. he was like put three hundred dollars on uh put three hundred dollars up play me in a one-on-one -on -one, put three hundred up and i told him i said cool i'll put three hundred up but uh, if I'm gonna play you in a 1v1 for $300, I said if I, you know, if it's any cheating in this game, then there's no deal. And he was like, okay, cool, cool. So then we get in a match, and he tried to like make it to where it wasn't obvious that he was cheating by like like trying to aim at me sometimes and then shoot, or like aim in the area that I was in and then shoot. But you can clearly tell he was cheating the shit out of me. Just look at this. I mean. Just look at this. And he, he just pretty much burst every time. He only shoots about three or four bullets. Uh, and, and it just pretty much kills me. I mean, only one bullet is required for it to kill me. Because, look, he, he really truly only gets one hit marker and, and he kills me. And uh, if you guys don't believe me, when the next clip actually shows, it'll show up and you'll, you'll see what I mean. But, anyways, there's always that one idiot in the comment section telling me, Oh, you, you, you don't, you're too poor or you don't have Call of Duty Black Ops 2. That's why you don't upload. That's why you upload Call of Duty Ghost Trash. You're like, who, who like the people that say stupid shit like that, you got to be a fucking idiot. Because for one, if you haven't been watching my videos, I've been uploading Call of Duty Black Ops 2 since the game first came out. Like I started off uploading Call of Duty Black Ops 2 like right when the shit came out. So how did I, how am I, how am I poor and I can't afford Black Ops 2? I have fucking Black Ops 2. This is proof right here. Oh, fucking idiots, man. I swear. Um, For those of y'all don't know, I own every Call of Duty. Every Call of Duty right now. I own every single last one of them. So, uh, I'm not fucking poor or whatever the guy was saying. Whatever he was telling me. I own every single Call of Duty. I actually have two copies of one of the Call of Duties that I hate, which is Modern Warfare 3. I have two copies of Call of Duty Black Ops 1, which is one I actually, absolutely love. Um, and the reason why is because me, my girlfriend, she used to play Call of Duty as well. And when me and her would play, we would play like in separate rooms at the same time. On because I have more more than one PlayStation. I have two PlayStation uh, threes, and then I have a PS4. So me and her both used to play Call of Duty. But she actually hated Call of Duty Modern Warfare Three. She loved Black Ops One. She uh, she hated Black Ops Two. I don't think she likes this one and I know for a fact she didn't like Modern Warfare 3 she quit playing Call of Duty around Modern Warfare 3 time because she was I mean she she didn't really just quit but she continued to play Black Ops 1 and uh, you probably never seen me and her play possibly we have played before but when we did play it was mostly just um, like hardcore games and I really don't like playing hardcore hardcore is kind of annoying to me it's kind of boring there's not really a lot of kill streaks, and then when you do finally get kill streaks, you really can't do anything with them because you're constantly killing teammates. But uh, I've I've kind of gotten fed up with with this little cheating right here, so you know it's pretty much in. And once he gets this next kill uh, or so, I'll just go ahead and show you guys him playing against another one of my friends, so you guys can see that I'm not bullshitting you. He's fucking cheating. Okay, so look at this. He shoots no we're somewhere where I wasn't even at. Okay, so here's my boy, DeMarco, who I've been playing with a long time. The game just started. Look, there's two people. He takes one shot and kills two people. Takes another shot and kills somebody else aiming somewhere completely different. This is what I'm talking about. This is the cheating bullshit. This is why I do not play Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I mean, I really didn't like Call of Duty Black Ops 2 during the life cycle of the game. Uh, because of all the camping and shit that was going on with Call of Duty Black Ops 2. And a lot of people act like they don't remember that shit. And they're like, oh no, nobody camped in Black Ops 2 when he first came out. Like, I have video proof. I have tons and tons and tons of video proof. 
uh, to show you guys that like people did camp during the beginning, the life cycle of this game. If you don't believe me, just go back and watch some of the earlier videos of Black Ops 2. This game was not as fast paced as it is now. Uh, it didn't get this fast paced until uh, Call of Duty, I, I believe it's what, Call of Duty Ghost came out. Once Ghost came out, then that's when it speeded up the pace. But uh, anyways, so then I go ahead and hop into this match here. My friend Molly was playing in this lobby here, but she wasn't really moving or anything. And uh, so I see where these guys are right here. As soon as I spawn into the match, I see where these guys are. Look, I spawn in right here, and then I run over. And uh, this is Call of Duty Ghost. So I get in Ghost, and Ghost is not as bad, ha badly hacked as... But look at this. Shoot that guy right there. Get all those hit markers on him. He turns around. I start shooting him some more. And look, he doesn't die. Look at this. No red on his screen whatsoever. And I hit him so many times. So I knew this guy was cheating. So I pretty much went ahead and left out. Let me get into a real game. No hackers. Oh, my God. So a lot of people always ask me, like, you know, really dumb questions. But like I say, I, I, I like to just pretty much show people and prove to people. And, you know, I like to go ahead and, like, kind of, instead of just answering a stupid question with text, I'd rather just show you video of, of answering a stupid question. Like, people always say stupid shit to me. I don't, I never understand why. Then he's like, yeah, you play on PS3 because you're poor and all this shit. But almost every single last one of my subscribers know that I have a PlayStation 4 as well. I have a fucking PlayStation 4, and I'm not, I'm not even just, like, I actually can get an Xbox One right now, but I have no care for Xbox One at all. There's no reason for me to want an Xbox One. There's no reason at all. I don't have any friends on Xbox at all. I used to, but I don't have any now. Now, for those of y'all who remember me when I was playing Xbox 360, because I did own a 360, but I sold it recently, um... When I was, when I had my Xbox 360, I had no friends on Xbox 360, and nobody gave a fuck about like playing with me on 360. So I just completely just was like, you know what? I don't even care about the console. I sold it. You know, I had free games coming in. I just kept paying for Xbox Live, and I never even played the console because I really didn't care for it. Nobody really ever talked on their microphones on there. Nobody really added you as a friend. Nobody wanted a new friend like at the end of the life cycle. And it's because I really never cared about 360 like that. I mean, I, st I had an Xbox 360 was actually the first console I got be between the war of 360 and PlayStation 3. But that's only because 360 came out first. So I bought the console naturally first. But um, I actually was going to get an Xbox One uh, when, when the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One first came out. I was actually about to buy one. And the reason I was going to buy one was because uh and look at this this i don't know if i mentioned this before but this team they were playing against they were they were completely trash talking so um I, they, they were trash talking and one of the guys that's on my team is actually one of their friends the the light blue guy who kind of is on our team he, he's actually going to be talking trash to us but he's actually one of their friends and he's going to actually try to trap me in a corner and stop me from being able to get kills and stuff all kind of little weird stuff to try to help his, his little buddies win but we still end up pulling off the w and it's going to be so nice but anyways like i was saying before i actually was about to buy the xbox one and i was only going to buy the xbox one for one game and one game only i didn't care about call of duty for xbox one or whatever halo none of that i didn't care about none of those games the only game that i wanted to buy it for was simply for Killer Instinct Gold. I mean, uh, Killer Instinct. Sorry, I almost said Killer Instinct Gold, but I have I've had a Nintendo 64, and Killer Instinct Gold was one of my favorite games on Nintendo 64. But uh, right when I was at the place to buy the game, I was actually at an electronic store called Fry's Electronics, and right when I was about to buy um, the Xbox One, I seen Killer Instinct Gold on the display, and I was like, you know what? Let me just play this game real quick before I before I buy this console, and uh, I started playing it, and I was like, "Oh my God, this game is so trash!" Like people, it's a lot of people who love Killer Instinct Gold, but as soon as I started playing it, I knew it wasn't for me. I knew it was trash. I knew I, would, I didn't want to waste my money trying to learn the game. It didn't feel anything like the old Killer Instinct that I was used to. So I was just like, you know what? It's not for me. 
I can save this little five hundred dollars because I mean at the time the. Xbox One cost a whole lot more, and then it was at the time it was like you had to have internet just to play the console. And I, I mean, I've always had internet uh, since I've had the new gen consoles. I've always had internet, but it's just kind of like, eh, it's not for me. So I just kind of gave up on that on that little thing of uh, Call of Duty. I had no inspiration for the console at all. But look at this. This guy outplays me right here. Gets a nice little drop shot, and uh, we lose the round. But something else I wanted to get into with this commentary is there are some crazy, crazy things going on lately in the world. There's a guy named Christian Taylor. I believe that's his name, Christian Taylor. But uh, if you guys don't know about this guy, this dude supposedly, like, took some drugs or something. And he went, he went like, completely crazy. And I live in Fort, I, well, not Fort Worth. But I live in North Richland Hills, which is really close to Fort Worth, but I grew up in Fort Worth. I actually lived right by Arlington Lake, which is where this incident actually happened was in Arlington, Arlington, Texas, which I possibly stayed maybe five minutes. When I first started uploading YouTube, really, I stayed pretty close to that area. And then kind of like through the middle, kind of like the middle of my uploads, when I actually first bought the PlayStation 4, I kind of lived near that area. I was like five minutes away. Um, but this guy actually went went pretty crazy. Now they're listing it as Dallas, like they're saying in the story it's Dallas, but it actually happened in Arlington. Um, and they normally do that for anything that happens in Fort Worth or Arlington area. But to be more specific, it was an Arlington uh, business. So this guy went pretty crazy. Like he went he went real crazy and started like jumping on cars. He drove through the fence and everything. And the police came and like killed this guy. Um, and he was unarmed, and that raised a lot of concern and, and stuff about it. And people, it's all on World Star. I actually, I might actually put a link in the description to the story, but that story was really crazy. And this guy, I, I don't know what happened to him. He just kind of snapped. It was a college kid, and he just kind of snapped and went crazy and just started doing all kind of random crazy stuff. And the police were called, said that somebody was trying to break into a, like a car or something, and then shots were fired. Um, Another story, there's this lady named Marie Holmes. Now, this is a pretty crazy story as well. Uh, she hits the, the Powerball for $88 million, and this is after taxes is deducted. So the total was like $188 million. She hits the Powerball, and then they reward her with $88 million. And uh, the thing that's been trending... Uh, as far as her name goes with the story is people been saying a lot of crazy stuff about her like saying oh you know she's stupid because she went and bailed out her uh, boyfriend out of jail for three three million dollars and then turned around and bailed him out again for six million after he did some stupid shit okay this is my opinion on the on the whole thing if I hit the lotto for 88 million then that means whatever I want to spend my money on is completely my decision. If this chick wants to go 100% broke, nobody should be like talking trash to her. And look, I went ahead and muted some of these players in here because they were they were pretty annoying. Uh, one of the guys was was actually uh, uh, Molly Molly's uh, stepson, but he just kind of he just kind of like says things in the microphone just consistently that just kind of throws your game off like he, he'll just go la, 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 like stuff like that and it just completely throws your game off so i just went ahead and muted him um and then i muted the other guy because the other guy was on their team uh well he was actually one of the friends karma is actually a friend of the other team so that's why he wasn't getting any kills or anything and he's actually just following me around shooting which i'm sure a lot of you guys noticed and look at this he traps me in the corner right over here look at this i actually got out of the corner but the lag put me right back in which is pretty crazy but uh he traps me in the corner and check this out i just completely destroy destroy his little buddies right here look at this with with being trapped in the corner which is so funny they actually capture a flag which is even more funny they capture one of the flags spawn their entire team back into the game come back over try to kill me i still kill their teammates and they kill the guy that's blocking me in and i escape out of here respond my whole team back in and we win the round which is pretty funny to me but uh anyways with the whole situation with the powerball situation look at this they kill him right there i finally able to get free and i just kind of go ahead and rush towards the flag oh my god i clutched this so hard but people people were giving look at this and i spotted him over here and then uh i just kept shooting right there because i knew i would kill him and then spotted my whole team back in 
Um, I got the little ballistic vest now, and I, I think we can change things. Look at this. Beast him. Ooh. Dropped the entire team. Karma finally gets a little kill right there. I guess he was kind of uh, butthurt that his buddies killed him, so he come in, and he, he just pulled off a nice little two kills to kind of help us out. And he was supposed to be his friends. Um... And they were, like, giving him trash about it and everything. He was telling me they were giving him trash and everything about him stealing the kills or whatever. And it was even harder for us. Imagine this. There's, I have everybody on my team muted except for Molly. And she doesn't even have her microphone on. So, they're pretty much... Look at this. I get hit by a sniper right there. Um, but anyways... They're pretty much just doing complete call-outs throughout the entire game. I'm not getting any call-outs from anybody, and I'm still able to clutch and bring our team back for the W. And they were talking so much trash. They were so butthurt, and they were saying, like, oh, you're a trash YouTuber and all kind of stuff. I didn't even tell them I was a YouTuber. They saw my tag, and it was automatically like, you're a trash YouTuber. So I said, okay, I'll show you how trash I am then. And look at this. I get beasted right here, and then Molly uh, kind of turns around. Look at this. She didn't even notice the guy right there, but she noticed him once he started moving around because she kind of sound whores a little bit. Okay, but anyways, back to the Marie Holmes situation. Okay, so she wins the Powerball for $88 million, right? She ends up spending $9 million of that to get this guy out of prison twice. So a lot of people have been giving her a lot of shit on it, saying like, oh, she's stupid, she's stupid. Nobody, you know, she's been on the news. Charlemagne the guy that's put her on donkey of the day, all kind of stupid shit. Like, everybody's just pretty much giving this chick so much hate. And to me, I don't really see all the fuss. I mean, I, I understand where they're coming from. They're kind of frustrated that somebody would make such a decision like that with their money. But, I mean, hey, it's her money. She can do whatever the fuck she wants to do. Uh, some people were asking me, like, hey, what would you do? What would you do? Hell, if I had $3 million, somebody was in prison that I cared about, they're in prison, and I take that $3 million, I say, hey... I'm going to go ahead and get you out of prison. Take that $3 million, get him out of prison. You know, and now we're going to spend whatever time we got. We're going to spend that shit together or whatever. Or, you know, chill or whatever. Whatever the fuck the situation is. Now, if they choose to violate probation doing some stupid shit, then, hey, now, now that's their problem. You know, they chose to violate probation. If I'm a fucking millionaire, if I'm going to get you out of prison, I'm going to make sure you're taken care of, good care of. So... You know, if you violate probation doing some stupid shit and I got millions of dollars, that means that you probably wanted to go back to prison. So then after that point, I'd be like, you know what? I'm not going to get your ass back out. You know, you just gonna have to sit in there and just fucking sit your time out because you obviously have not learned your lesson or you wanted to go back. And that's just my opinion. But what she did, she actually got him out again. I got no problem with that. No problem at all. If she wants to go broke... And hey, that's her money. She can go fucking broke and do whatever the fuck she wants to do with her money. I got family, family that do the same shit. They sit there and they try to criticize you on whatever money decision. Oh, my God, you bought a PlayStation 4? Why? You got a PlayStation 3? Are you fucking stupid? They do the same shit. It's the world we live in. But I want to thank you guys for watching out the videos. Your boy, Little Mike Mike 6. I'll catch you on the next one. All right, peace.